What's up nail geeks? Today I have Polish Pickup September's horror movie polishes to share with you guys. I do have several makers to go over so let's get started. First up is Baroness X Crypt Keeper. This is inspired by the corpse puppet in the old school show Tales from the Crypt. The official description is an army fatigue slash olive base filled with gold to green to blue unicorn pea sister pigment piercing blue glass flakies, and pink copper gold green UCC flakies. The cap on this one is $300 and the price will be $16. This polish is loaded with that sibling pigment. And in indoor lighting, you're going to see what you're seeing here with the inner coppery glow. The formula is quite a bit squishy and jelly feeling and it does dry down semi-glossy so I think any top coat will be fine with this. I think most people should go to three coats personally. Um, just my recommendation if you want full coverage visible nail line. Otherwise if you don't mind that and you like that jelly look then I would suggest two coats and, and you'll be fine there as well. The flakies laid down nice and flat for me and they do give you this lovely dense scatter across your nails. They are pretty much every color of the rainbow and they show up as a pond effect between your layers after you apply. You will see in shaded lighting and in dimmer lighting that sibling pigment will shift like crazy. I saw greens, blues, really bright golds, it is crazy. If you look at my blog posts, some of my macro shots, I feel like I went a little crazy this month with photos for you guys and I think this one you can just see just the, the absolute strong shift. The next polish is Blush Lacquers Life Finds a Way. This is inspired by Jurassic Park, specifically the scene where it is raining and the T-Rex is after everybody. The official description is a murky, deep, muddy brown base with a shifting micro flake shimmer and, and green, teal, blue, and purple at the far edges and extreme angles. There is no cap on this one and the price is $13. I think most people should be fine at between two and three coats. I don't see needing to go beyond that. As you can see here on the second coat, it starts to build up really, really nicely. And I think those with shorter nails could definitely get away with the two coats. I did go for three because at this point in the month my nails were a little longer. You guys are going to see me trim and get longer, trim and get longer uh, back and forth throughout this video. Um, here, like I said, I do have my nails a little bit longer so I went for that third coat to even everything out. The shimmer in this one is very very strong and you will easily see it shift Mostly from this teal that you'll, you're seeing here in a bright light to a really rich, vibrant purple as well. It does dry down a little on the satin side, so just my personal recommendation. I would say a glossy, quick dry top coat would be best because it kind of just brings in all that shimmer and just makes it pop really well. Up next, we have Crystal Knockout. This is Heart of the Witch. The inspiration is the movie The Craft, which I totally love. In the official description is a blue lavender hollow base with a red gold aurora, purple and gold iridescent shimmer, and holographic micro flakies and iridescent blue flakies. There is a 160 bottle cap on this one, and the price is $13. I feel like on my blog post, those photos, you're seeing this shimmer a little subtle. Um, here you can see that you're going to have this really strong inner pink glow and in shaded areas you'll see that aurora pigment just, just completely shift. I saw a nice uh, bright orange and then sometimes I saw a, a, a green on extreme angles as well. This one is super, super packed with holographic pigment and I think it will sparkle in just about any lighting. It does dry down a little bit on the matte kind of satin side so once again personally I would say a quick dry glossy top coat and you will see it just in your face sparkly. The next polish is the Lush Polish and this is Wanna Play a Game. 
It is inspired by Saw. The official description is an emerald green multi-chrome magnetic infused with glowing purple to pink aurora shimmer along with an accented lime green and iridescent flakies and the cap on this is at 350 bottles. The price is $12.50. The formula on this feels quite jelly-like to me. I did go for three coats um, on this. I do feel like the majority of people are going to be fine at two coats with the magnet applied on that second coat. I did go in for three thin here um, just to make sure everything was even for my photograph since I do take my pictures right after I record these videos. I feel like on this one when you apply your magnet you get such a strong strong pink line as you're seeing here. It is really contrasting lovely against that really foresty green in the background. In shaded areas or dimmed lighting it almost looks like there is a double line and you'll see this really strong gold uh, pigment go right up against that pink. It's super shifty. Um, my blog post in my macro shots you can see what I'm talking about it almost looks like there's two colors. Up next we have Fair Maiden, Hello Clarice. This is inspired by Silence of the Lambs, specifically the movie poster and the DVD cover. Official description is a muted blue-gray linear hollow with color shifting shimmer of copper to gold with iridescent flakes and glitter that shift copper, gold, and green. There is no cap on this and the price is at $11. I will say that the formula on this one is a little bit on the light side. Those with shorter nails could probably get away with two coats. At this point, once again, I'm at the long nail stage in my swatching when I had this. So I did go for three coats just to kind of even everything out and uh, make sure I was getting full coverage. As you're seeing here on the second coat, I do not have any visible nail lines. So just to your personal preference, I say two to three coats easily on this one. This one is very, very holographic and the shimmer in it is super, super strong. I feel like you're mostly going to see what you're seeing here in person. It's got that real nice, um, almost like a coppery reddish glow to it and then on tilt you'll get those greens and oranges to come out to play. The glitters in it are very shifty as well and they kind of match up with that Aurora pigment and they give you this really nice like glittery shifty effect against all that rainbow. Here is Heather's Hues Revenge. This is inspired by Resident Evil, the final chapter. Woohoo! Video games. Well, movie, but you get the point. Official description is a unique and versatile polish that looks incredible both magnetized or non-magnetized as well as with a shinier matte top coat. It's a charcoal gray magnetic polish with fuchsia red copper gold shift filled with multi-chrome flakes and gold bronze silver and red copper gold and hollow micro glitters in red copper and gold. There's a lot going on with this one and I think that for just about every magnetic that I swatched this month, as you can see right here at this exact moment, this is what it will look like without the magnet. When you do apply your magnet, you're going to see this really strong fuchsia particle. And this is another one that has a lot of movement to it. So when the magnetic particles move out of the way, you'll see all those little little glitters and flakes in there. Super pretty. In person, in shaded lighting, this one also has that dual line appearance to it. So. In bright lighting you'll see what you're seeing here with the pink shift and then in shaded lighting which you'll see on my macro shots on my blog post this really strong gold comes out to play and it's interesting uh, standing out against that gray base I think it just kind of says look at me look at me <laughs> the next polish is lemming lacquer this is deeper into the further this is inspired by the further in the Insidious series. The official description is a black and teal jelly with blue teal shimmer and purple blue iridescent flakes. There is a 300 cap on this one and the price is 13. 
The formula on this is um, what I would describe as a medium jelly feel. It does have a very squishy jelly appearance, but it is very opaque. Now, I felt like between my photos and this video, I don't feel like you're getting the full picture here. This is loaded with this shifting teal, bluish looking shimmer. It's really, really strong in person. And the flakes are very large. So personally, I that's wonderful. But I will caution, just be a little careful on your brush strokes and you'll be just fine. It does dry down semi-glossy, but given the flakes, I would still recommend a quick dry top coat um, to kind of even everything out because once again, those flakes are quite large. The overall appearance though is stunning. It's just, I feel like for me, I was photographing it quite dark and then with the video, it was coming out dark as well. But just keep in mind, in person, this sucker is loaded with flakes and shimmers. Very, very pretty. It's just photographing so dark. Next up is Moonflower Polish. Don't read the Latin. This is inspired by The Cabin in the Woods. The official description is a grige cream stamping polish with a silvery shimmer, blue gold micro flakes, red green aurora pigment, and red gold aurora pigment. There is a 75 bottle cap on this and the price is $12. So this is at the point in the video where I'm going to kind of go off on a tangent and show you guys how I did the Manny of my swatch photos. So previously you're seeing that it is a one coater polish if you decide to wear it on its own. With Nadia's polishes, they are so opaque that I have no problems either with stamping or making a gradient. So here I'm showing you guys how I made the gradient. So I'm doing it with black and don't read the Latin. As you can see, I did start off with that first coat of don't read the Latin and then I just kind of sponged on a little bit of the polish with black to give the, the gradient background. Most of the time with her polishes, including this one, you don't have to have that first coat on to get your gradient going. So just for the sake of this video, I did do that first layer so you guys could see her polishes are one coaters, period, the end. I mean, you could go to the second coat and <clears throat> get your even application if you're going to wear it by yourself, but uh, these stamping polishes are very, very opaque, very dense, and super versatile. So here I'm using a Bundle Monster Halloween plate to get the little uh, adorable ghosts on my nails. I'm using a clear jelly stamper and on that first go I had easy pickup, super just just effortless in my opinion. I think this would be great for those be those beginners that are brand new to stamping. And as you can see here over the black portion of the gradient you can easily see don't read the Latin. It shows up really well over darker colors. Over lighter colors it's just going to come off uh, more of a lighter grige, almost a beige if you will. When you wear it by itself you'll see all of those aurora pigments and all those awesome shimmers in there. Um, stamped it's a little bit more subtle but you will still see them just not as in your face as wearing it by itself. The next polish is Night Owl Lacquer. I've spent too long in the darkness. This is inspired by Corpse Bride. The official description is a thermal polish that goes from a dusky ethereal purple when cold to a bright green when warm, with a shimmer that shifts green, blue, and purple and several shades of green, blue, purple shifting UCC flakes. This does not have a cap and the price is $12.50. I think for the most part, most people with shorter nails are gonna be fine at two coats. Once again, I have slightly longer nails here so I did go for three just to kind of even everything out. The thermal pigment in this is very strong. I feel like it, it just transition, transition excuse me, very effortlessly and I mean even from just applying it which I'm normally very cold when I'm swatching. The flakes and the shimmer in this really complement both bases really well and I think you're gonna see both states as previously mentioned, it's very sensitive to temperature. The warm state is that perfect slimy green and I have to say that Night Owl knows her ways around bright greens. It's almost got this white undertone to it so it's not that chartreuse type of green. I think it's a true slimy bright green. 
The Cold State, in my opinion, is a really nice steel gray. And like I said, you're going to see that shimmer very strong in both of them. And given how just how sensitive it is, I think you're going to see it like crazy this time of year as most places, you know, are kind of starting to get into fall weather. Here is Supernatural Locker, They're Coming to Get You, Barbara. This is inspired by Night of the Living Dead. The official description is a dark purple base with green to purple shifting aurora shimmer, blue green gold UCC flakes, green blue gold color shifting flakes, purple neon micro flakes, midnight black micro flakes, and scattered hollow. There is a 300 bottle cap on this one and it is $12.50. I think if you have short nails, you're going to be fine at two coats. I did go for three because as you can see, this is probably the longest my nails were in the month of August. And it just kind of evens everything out. It does dry down pretty matte, so um, if you want those shimmers and flakes to pop like crazy, I recommend a glossy top coat, though it does look amazing matted by itself as well. Just my personal preference, I like glossy nails. There is so much going on here and it is just insane to me. In my macro shots on my blog post, you'll see all the shifts that this polish goes through. In bright lights, you're gonna see it green here, but on tilt, it is a vibrant purple. The last polish I have to share with you guys today is Vapid, I'm Just Cherry. This is inspired by Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror. The official description is a bloody brick red base with a splatter of red copper gold shifting flakes and holographic silver flakes. The magnetic portion is a copper gold ultra chrome and it just pops at that point. There is no cap on this and the price is 14 On this one, I feel like the formula is very medium feeling and I don't see anybody really needing to go to three coats um, unless you have very, very long nails. The base on this one is a gorgeous crimson. I really think this one reminded me of a phoenix. It's just warm, coppery, reddish, burgundy-ish. It's, it's, there's a lot going on and the, those little flakes in there just really round out the overall appearance. This is another magnetic that has a lot of movement to it and depending on your lighting that copper is going to just come up as a, a just a burnt kind of orange almost to this vibrant gold. My macro shots on my blog post I think show the shift pretty well, but when you see it here on the full Manny shot you're going to see what I'm talking about. There's lots and lots of movement and it's just overall a phoenix feather. <laughs> that's, that's how I would describe it. Polish Pickup goes live on the Polish Pickup website September 7th at 11 a.m. EST. Be sure to get in there and get your wish list ready as a lot of these do have caps to them. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe.